everyone. I'm Melanie Michael. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us this Sunday night. We begin tonight with the Pope's historic visit to Cuba. Thousands of people turned out for mass this morning in Havana. Crowds cheered and waved flags as Pope Francis arrived in Havana's iconic Revolution Plaza. He stopped several times to kiss children and to bless several people in wheelchairs. Tonight, News Channel 8's Jean Ramirez joins us in Cuba covering the Pope's visit. And good evening to you from Havana's Revolution Square. Within the next half hour, Pope Francis will be meeting with Cuban youth. He's already met with both Fidel and Raul Castro. In fact, he exchanged gifts with Fidel. He also went to the cathedral in Old Havana. But the main event happened early this morning on this stage, on this altar, where right now curious Cubans are still hanging out, trying to find out what all of this is about. They're talking about the Papal Mass, where the Pope celebrated with tens of thousands of Cubans. The curious joining the Catholics in this mass of Cubans for mass in Cuba. Tens of thousands of ordinary Cubans standing for hours awaiting this very moment. The arrival of Papa Francisco, Pope Francis, in Havana's Revolution Square. Also there, Catholics from Tampa. A life changing experience. It was all in Spanish. Was there a language barrier there? Did you still feel like you got the message? Oh, I absolutely got the message. It's all about mercy. The Pope calling Cubans a people that hurt but have open arms. Perhaps a call to embrace recent historic changes and his own desires for the expansion of religion in the once atheist country. With communist leader Raul Castro in the crowd, the Pope claimed the people need to serve each other and not ideas. This part Cuban Tampa resident thinks it's possible. The heart's there all the time with the Cubans. But some Cubans tell us so is fear. Revolutionary leader Che Guevara's own daughter sitting out this mass, claiming it's hypocritical to attend. Well, there are others who wanted to be here at that papal mass and couldn't. There are reports from human rights organizations that several Cuban dissidents were detained and not allowed to approach the area of the mass. We'll have more from this historic day in our evening newscast at 11. For now, reporting in Havana, Cuba, I'm Gene Ramirez. Back to you. Thank you, Jean. And Jean will continue our coverage on the Pope's visit to Cuba tonight after Sunday night football. And then starting tomorrow, watch our colleague Jennifer Lee as she reports on the Pope's visit to the United States, an historical visit at that. She will follow the Pope all week long in Washington, D.C., New York, and Philadelphia. And you can watch all of it right here on News Channel 8.